there welcome back to julie's wreath boutique tonight we're going to learn how to make an easter wreath and we're going to use a set of rails yep we've never done this before on my channel but you can get all of these products from the wreath shop and i will have everything listed below so let's get started and make something beautiful i'm i'm so glad you could join me today and i'm excited to show you something we've never done on this channel which is using a rail okay so this is called the rail um, frame you can use this for so many things if you wanted to do like a garland you could make these separate rails and put it all together or we can just make kind of like a swag and put it on our front door for easter so we got all of this from the wreath shop. So what I will be doing is I will, will be listing, sorry, my words coming a little too fast there. I will be listing all of these products in the description box below. The description box below has a little arrow and you click on it and it shows you all the good stuff that I have for my videos from all my social media places that I'm on that you can follow to the supply list for you. Any videos that I might say, hey, I'll leave the link for this video in the description box below you know, as I talk about stuff. So I will leave each link for this, but all of this came from the Reese shop. Um, thank you, Sarah, for sending me all this stuff. It was great. I can't wait to put it together. So let's get started. What's the first step? Okay. So the first step that I want to do before I even start my project is I want to take my rail and I want to trace it um, on some felt and I want to have a piece of felt. I'm going to just going to move all these um, tinsel things up here. And I just want to kind of trace it so that um, on the back of this, we will have a covering because I just kind of feel like it's good to protect your door or, or window or what, wherever you're going to hang this on. So I'm just going to grab a pencil or a marker. Here's one. And I'm actually, I want to actually just kind of do this a little bit bigger than, um, it is because I just want to make sure that it's um, all covered just to make sure we get it cut right where we want it I love these these products are in my Amazon storefront so you can look there again that description is in the box below and then that way you can get what you need okay so we are going to be using a deco poly mesh for um, this wreath and basically there's a couple things that you could do if you don't have a wood burner you could use just a rotary cutter and you could cut it we're going to be doing a curl method so it will hide a little bit of that but um, I'm going to show you with mine I'm going to use my wood burner I have a glass cutting board over my rotary mat I have my wood burner and I'm just going to show you and demonstrate how easy it is to cut it you're going to be very careful you're going to wear a mask because it does put off some fumes and you don't want to smell all that so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this roll into 30 inches long so i believe i can get 10 if i'm correct with my measurements of my math and let's be honest i don't do great with math so i could be wrong but i'm going to cut all of this green 10 inch roll of poly deco mesh in 30 inches and basically that means i need to move my loss down here because we're going to be cutting it down here um anyways but we're going to be cutting it at 30 inches and i'm going to cut all of this and then we're going to do the base of this wreath so cut all your mesh at 30 inches use the wood burner if you'd like and we'll be right back okay i was right you can get 30 cuts of 30 inches each or 10 cuts of 30 inches each. Okay. I know, I know Julie and math. We just don't get along. It's all right. I like to create. So I know that these, that this is, does not match our, our wreath, but don't worry, we're going to hide all of this. So you're not going to see these, um, wires or ties or whatever you want to call them, but we're going to use them and we are going to make our wreath with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of put them on top here and I'm gonna take a piece of my mesh with the curl side up. Oh, that's not what I, one of my things here. That was the scrap piece. Hold on. I'm gonna take one of these that are nice, ni cut nice. I'm going to make sure the, the curl side is up. All right, and we're just gonna start. We're gonna roll this in just a little bit, okay? And then we're just gonna start gathering in the middle of that 
wreath. And now when I get to the end here, I'm gonna roll this side up a little bit, okay? And that is gonna make our nice, pretty ruffle right there, okay? Take this and you're just gonna lay it in your first tie and you're gonna just tie it off. And we're gonna do, do it just like that, okay? So now what am I gonna do is I'm just gonna keep doing the same method. This one you can tell is, was at the middle or at, towards the end of the wreath um, because it's so curly. And then we're gonna just keep adding it to our wreath form. We're gonna do all of these ties in the same green. We're gonna use the green as the base. Um, so, and then we still have room to use more of our tie. So that's the first step. How easy was that? Just roll and then start to gather, roll this end. But I wanted to tell you, I saw this, I was like, okay, I've never worked with one of these, so I always like to go on YouTube, but I've never worked with some and see what people are doing. Well, um, Paper Dreamer One, which is Donna, she has a YouTube channel and she's taught you guys some of my stuff too. But um, I saw her use one of the rails and this is where I've got the start from. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave her link in the description box below and I will tag her. Go watch some of her videos and I will leave the link for her rail video. She made a really cute ladybug. Go watch her video and tell her Julie said hi, okay? So, or say Julie sent me, but um, Donna's a great lady and she's been on YouTube for quite a while now. She makes some beautiful, beautiful wreaths. And I think she does some cooking too. So she's got some good recipes, I'm sure. So go give her a watch and I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll work on the second layer of mesh. Okay, so now we're gonna take our yellow. This doesn't have the line in the middle, but we're gonna use our wood burner again. And um, this is where I'm just gonna start adding mesh wherever I want, just so that we can have a nice full wreath. I'm trying to find my trash can there. But I'm gonna do this. Let's do these in 20 inches in their diameter of their cut. So I'm gonna cut out at least six of these in 20 inches. And then I'm gonna cut in um, 11 of them in the purple in the 20 inches. And then we're gonna add all that mesh to my frame. Remember how I told you I wasn't good with math? Well, I can't count right either. So <laughs> anyways, I thought there were only 10 of these little, whatever you wanna call them, on the rail. There was 11, there was 11. So one of these pieces isn't quite 30 inches long, it's like 25 inches long, and that's okay. And I just kind of put it in the middle so that you can't really notice. So if if for, for instance, you feel like, oh, I only can get like a 25 inch piece, you know, it's okay. It's not good. You're not going to be able to tell, I promise. And you could cut these pieces instead of 30 inches. If you have more of these ties, then cut them at 25 inches and that'll give you some, an extra, um, ruffle here and there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to work where there isn't, um, one of these ties, but if you look on the back and all my mesh is going to come at me now. And I just wanna fill this up. I'm just having fun. This is what I'm gonna do. But if you look at the back, you've got like this ladder thing going on. So what I thought would be neat would be to add six of the yellow in here, okay? So what am I gonna do? You could do one of two things. You could take um, some zip ties or you could go get some pipe cleaners. So let me see if I've got the pipe cleaners. You know what? I do have some right here. They're not really the color that I want, but we're gonna have pink in this Anyway, so we're gonna go with these pink ones. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move the mesh and I'm going to put it on that center like ladder ring, okay? And we're gonna create our own little wire. So you're gonna take your mesh, just move this out of the way. We're running out of room here, okay? And you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna roll it, curl side up, and then you're just gonna start making your curl, okay? Take your thing here, your little curl. Literally, I'm getting mesh everywhere. And find your pipe cleaner and put it right in the middle there, okay? And I'm not gonna cut these pipe cleaners right now. I'm just gonna leave them for now, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way down the center of this frame. My pipe cleaners are getting silly. 
Gonna find the next little ladder. Gonna put another pipe cleaner. Do your curl. It's just that easy. And we're gonna put it right in between. And we're just gonna use it to kind of fill this in and make it fuller. So just keep going all the way down and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I was able to raise the camera a little bit because this is gonna be a big one, guys. So you can see that we put um, the yellow kind of in the center of our wreath. And what I also like about doing this, by adding them on this side, I feel like it kind of rounds our edges just ever so much. So let's talk about the purple, all right? We're gonna put the purple where all these brown ties are. We're going to do the same exact method. You're just gonna curl it up, okay? And then you're just gonna lay it wherever you see a brown twig thing here. I don't know what you call them, the little, the wires, okay? <laughs> That's what they're called. All right, so we're gonna just add the brown, okay? So I'm just gonna keep adding. It's not the brown, it's the purple on the brown, in the brown, like little twig thingies. I don't know what you call them. Stems, wires, they're like Chanel stems, but they're not like Chanel stems. They're like more, they're harder wire. So just going to twist that really good. So I'm just gonna keep adding it all the way on both sides. And then we might add a little bit in between here um, in the yellow just to kind of bring it all together. So just hang with me and keep going till we get to the next part here. It's getting big, y'all. <laughs> I know I'm not from the South, but I grew up on the Southern border of Ohio in West Virginia. So I can say y'all a few times, right? I, I can do that, right? <laughs> It's getting big. And so you're looking at a wreath that's going to be about 31 inches in length and, oh my goodness, about 18 inches in width. So you're looking at a pretty big. This is going to cover it, guys. This is going to cover a nice store. So what, what are we going to do with the center section? I thought, you know, I've got the mesh. Why not use it? You could stop here. It's plenty full. Okay, I just hit the, the little light here and it made you go jiggly and all that. You can stop at this point if you want, okay? I'm just gonna use some more mesh because I have it. You're gonna order three rolls if you wanna make a wreath just like mine, or you could just order two and just be done with it. So we're just going to um, take some smaller cuts. These are only 15 inches, so they're little. These are our little baby ones, okay? And all I'm gonna do is I cut six of them and I'm gonna put them on top of the yellow now so that we have just a little bit of everything coming through here um, in all the directions, okay? So we're just gonna put a, just a little tiny one in between the center there. Oops, that's not a roll. Here we go. And so you're gonna do this next step. These are only 15 inches that are cut. Remember, these are tiny and we're just gonna set it down in there. So that way, you know, some of this yellow will kind of poke through. And if you want more yellow, you could add some yellow on the sides here as well. So this is just kind of what I'm doing. So I'm gonna push that down in there. And I think this is gonna be so pretty once we get everything together. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the little signs. Okay, so um, I feel like these are super cute. This is the whole color scheme and everything that we base this wreath on, okay? So as you can see, there's a little bit of turquoise. You could add some turquoise in there. Um, you could even add a little bit of greenery. I think it'd be really pretty. But we're gonna take this and we are going to just cut off these little hooks here that, that have rope on it. And then what we're gonna do is basically what they did. You know, they just use a stapler. So I'm gonna use my stapler. I have, oh, there's glue on that. All right, so we're gonna use my stapler. I have these in my Amazon account. I'm just gonna take some zip ties, or not zip ties, pipe cleaners, Julie pipe cleaners. And I'm just going to kind of put one at the top and one at the bottom here. Make sure I'm not doing this right. <laughs> Sometimes I like to miss it. Okay, did it get it? It did, it did. So that one, you know what I'll do is I'll just kind of twist it around. You could even use some wire. 
The, these might be a little short. I might have to add a little bit onto that. And then what I'm gonna do, just to kind of secure it a little bit more, is add a little bit of glue there. Mine didn't go all the way down, but let's just do one right here and see if, if I add a little bit more pressure to it, if it does better. Eh, it doesn't really do better, but that's okay. So if you can see, I took my, I didn't show it to you in the video. I cut that part out because it was really loud. Um, I just took my the back of my scissors here and I just kind of slammed it down just to kind of get it a little bit more. And what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of glue here just to kind of give it a little extra support for my little bunny um, sign. So I'm going to do that to this one and then we'll add them to our sign or to our wreath. Okay, so before we put our signs on, we're gonna work on our little ribbon bundles. And I always like to try to do something a little different than I've done before or, or what I've seen before. I just like to give you options, that's all, because you could take my ideas or different ideas and you can like interchange them. So you could do like a ruffle method or a bubble method, all sorts of different kinds of methods, and then just add a different aspect to that wreath. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do for you here today. What I like about this um, ribbon that I got from the wreath shop is there's so much of it. It's 10 yards per roll. So I have plenty of ribbon here to do my accents. And if I wanna make a big bow, I still have plenty of ribbon guys. So that's what's fun about this wreath. So basically what we're gonna do is we are going to make kind of a bow bundle like this. And it's super, super simple. Anybody can do this. It's not hard to do, okay? So what are we gonna do? We're going to cut all of our links, depending on how many bundles you want. I wanna have at least seven bundles. I'm not sure that I'll use them all, but I'm gonna shoot for seven bundles, okay? So I cut all of my ribbons. I have two of the two and a half inch and I have two of the one and a half inch. And um, we're going to, the first thing you're gonna do is you cut them 20 inches long, which I've already done. And then I'm going to take two of them here and just to kind of make my job a little simpler, I'm going to dovetail the ends. I'm gonna switch it over and then just kind of go here and dovetail them. And then that way, that part's already done, okay? If you like my scissors, I get these at Amazon. I will leave the link for them in the description box below. So what I wanna do is I'm kind of working with the different like um, contrast. So I like this green and I like it on top of the yellow. So I'm gonna do that. So let's kind of move this out of the way so it's not so distracting here. Okay, and then I love, 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 love pink. Pink is like my favorite color. That's, that's just me. Okay, and then I'm gonna lay the purple accented floral ribbon over top of that one. So what are we gonna do? We're going to just simply bend them over, okay? We're gonna do that. And then let's see, how big is this? That's about four inches. We're gonna take about four inches and I'm just going to gather it here, all right? So let's bend it over, fold it over, bend it over. Goodness, Julie. And let's see about the four inch mark here. And then we're gonna put it and we're going to take it and cross it like that, okay? Take a pipe cleaner that I got. What did I do with my pipe cleaners? I forgot I had gotten them. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go over the top. All right, and I'm going to bring it back and then I'm just gonna twist. All right, so now let's work on the way that we're gonna present it in our wreath, okay? So I'm gonna bring one set of tails this way, one set of tails that way, all right? And then you're gonna just separate, I'm gonna separate my ribbon here, my loops. You could keep your loops together, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna separate these, okay? All right, and then I'm just going to make sure the right side of the ribbon is facing, so I'm gonna have to twist that that one up. Okay, so we're just gonna twist it so the right side is facing up. All right. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. The green is easy because it's pretty much the same on both sides. It's just like the one. Twist it. All right, and so then you've got a little ribbon bundle. Okay, and then once we get it on our wreath, we can do it even a little bit more. So that's all you do, all that's it. 
Okay, so then now the decision is I have two of these little signs and yes, I'm gonna use two. You could get three of them if you wanted to do three. I just think they're so cute and I, I used two. Could you use just one? Yep, absolutely, but I'm gonna use the two. So I keep like changing these around and honestly, I think I'm just gonna leave them kind of in the center of our wreath here. I'm gonna find a spot where I can just pull down the, um, I always wanna call them zip ties and they are not zip ties. And so I need to find a spot where I can put these. So I'm gonna kind of pull it down here, I think, to where that one railing is. And I'm not gonna pull it down too much, okay? Just going to twist it like so. I think you can see what I'm doing here. Then I'm gonna wrap it around, okay? And then I'm gonna find the next spot here that I can put it around. Let's find that railing. There's one right there, so let's just try to anchor it to that railing. So it's, this is the cross part of the wreath. Okay, so you can see right here that I connected it right here. I used one pink and one, one white, all right? And then you're just going to wrap it around. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna focus on these two up here with this one. And then I'm gonna just kind of say, I'm gonna kind of pull it up a little bit so that it goes this direction. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and I'll be right back. I'm trying to look here. You're gonna be able to see all of this. This is a big wreath, okay? So now you're gonna take your bundles, all right? And you're just gonna find spaces to put them in. The first area here, I'm gonna put it right where that brown is, um, just because I want that covered up and I'm just gonna run my pipe cleaner around that. And then you're just gonna twist it on the back. Now, I'm not going to sink this too much. I'm gonna pull it in a little bit, but not too much. We're just gonna lay it on top of the mesh, okay? Because you don't need to use a ton of ribbon for this, but then you're just gonna kind of like go through here and kind of fluff up your bows and just have fun with it, okay? Make sure all those colors are complementing this show up here. So what I wanna do is I wanna put one on this side around the same area. So we're gonna do that. And then instead of just keeping it on this side, or I should show you the right side, this side, I'm gonna move it in a little bit and I wanna put one as well on that side. And you're just gonna find spots that you wanna put it and just attach it to your frame. And then you're gonna just play with all the ribbon and you're gonna straighten it up and all that. So now I wanna put one like right there. And so I'll put one there, I'll put one here and here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I try to get you even a little higher. This is a big wreath, okay? And I'm not gonna worry too much about all my ribbons so far, okay? Because we're gonna do a couple more things. We're gonna put the belt on the back and that's gonna just smash everything. But um, they also sent me, Sarah also sent me these adorable little bunny stems. And I will, again, have the link in the description box below. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda like cut these apart. Like you can just kinda pull them apart here actually. And then we're gonna just, you're gonna find the spot wherever you want to put it. That's where you're gonna put it. And I'm gonna run my little guy here. He's so cute. Let me see here. Can't see really good on this side. Okay, I'm gonna run him over here and then I'm gonna wrap him around the little frame itself. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna try to get a close up for you there. And then I'm just gonna wrap him. And then that way he can just kind of hang out wherever I want him to. Okay, and there's no glue involved. So we'll put him there. And then you're just gonna add wherever you want to add a little bit of pop of color. I love yellow and pink. Um, yellow and pink were my wedding colors almost 29 years ago. A little fun fact for you. But I think this is super cute. 
Again, I wrapped it underneath the rail and then I'm just wrapping it around itself and I don't even need any glue or anything. You could add glue to glue if you want. So we have two of these, so that means we have four little guys here. So I'm gonna put one up here and then I'll probably put another guy over here. Well, it helps if you hit the record button and I did not do that in this case, so I apologize. I just made a little loop up here with um, a pipe cleaner and then I just started gluing it down, all right? You're just gonna wrap that pipe cleaner around the frame and then I use the glue to kind of center it, all right? But this is just gonna help hide, you know, the mechanisms, the, the mechanics behind our wreath here. So that's all there is to it. You could use um, zip ties if you'd rather, if you don't want to use the glue. Whoops, watch your fingers. Okay, but I'm going to glue this and then I'll flip it over and we'll just fluff it all up. Well, if you made it this far in the video, would you leave me a bunny in the comments and let me know that you watched the whole video? I appreciate that when you do. And all you're going to do is just going to go through here and you are gonna just fluff out all your little ribbons now because they got a little smushed, that's okay. I only used six bundles of the ribbon, so I had an extra one. I could have just put the extra one like right in the middle, but I just decided not to. So you could do a big bow, and I have a bow video too you can watch if you wanna learn how to make a bow. But listen, I hope you enjoyed this today. I'm going to show you this in the next slide, so let me show you it in all of its glory. So hold on. Well, here is the finished product. I'm showing it on my front door so you can see how big it is. It fills the door. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And remember, leave me a bunny down in the comments. We'll see you next Sunday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.